Freelives launched Broforce in October 2015 and it exceeded all of their expectations. It's been a year since then. Find out what the Freelives team are up to now. So you might be wondering where I'm at right now. We've just moved our office from Cape Town all the way to Mauritius. The, the lease on the office was expiring. So it, it kind of made sense to go to a tropical paradise and game jam with friends. Moving 10 people and hundreds of thousands of rands worth of expensive and fragile computer equipment to a remote tropical island. What could go wrong? I think we're going to make awesome games. I think we're, I, I really feel like we're making awesome games. This won't be logistically challenging at all. The night of arrival, when we first got here, holy shit, it's, it's a postcard. Right boys, welcome to the villa. This is where we'll be working and where the guests are housed. Everybody say hi. Arriving here was absolutely amazing. Like, walking into the villa literally blew my mind. I was expecting like a little flat roof with maybe a hammock and like a table in the middle, but this is pretty extravagant. So. Yeah, mind blown. It's like ridiculous. It's, yeah, like, it's, I, it's like as soon as we got in, I didn't know what to say. I was like, "That's fucked up." <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! I heard the echo, and I'm like, "Oh shit, that's the anti room." No, it's just that there. That's the room. Yeah, that's the room. This is so good. Uh, the place is ridiculous. Um, it feels like there should be ten more people staying here. Are you happy? So you're happy. You definitely exceeded my expectations. You exceeded my expectations. I don't know why we are Mauritius. <laughs> uh, it's amazing though, and it's very surreal. Cool. Uh, tax evasion! <laughs> I'm here because it seemed like a really fun opportunity to hang out with my friends and make video games in like a super cool place, like a tropical island. So our equipment arrived on day two, which is a miracle that it arrived at all. And it seems to more or less all be in one piece. Very heavy boxes, one or two slightly damaged items, but overall it looks like we're winning so far. Oh, well that sounds broken. Hey. Somebody actually asked me this morning if Basil is coming to set up the office. Really? I was like, um, no, you just set up your own computer. We are not flying your assistant here to set up a computer. There's definitely a bit of a regression to a, a childlike state that has happened. Yeah. Jason, let me see. Where the fuck's Jason? Why am I setting up this music gear? He's on the beach. No, fuck these people, it's a work day. <laughs> Um, so I think my routine yeah, will be a bit more hectic because I'll be cooking for um, maybe 15 or some case of international and I'll be arriving to work on the golf cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the weirdest request I've had from one of the free live guys is no ever. Like who doesn't eat ever? <laughs> this week I'm working on genital jousting. Yeah, it's like, uh, that's Yon. <laughs> it works. Yeah? Yeah. The water, the water works. I was worried. So what I'm here for is I'm here to help write dialogue and narration for uh, general jousting. Yeah, yeah, we need we need buff clenching. Yeah. 
which is pretty rad because I get to examine um, loneliness and making friends and sexual politics through uh, the agency of a penis. Man, the only downside so far of the tropical paradise has definitely been um, number one, uh, that I only packed black shirts. I can just work in this, right? Yes. <laughs> Also, there are a couple of flies around, but I've got my chopsticks ready and I've watched a lot of Jackie Chan movies, so... I think we're in Mauritius, because we're not very good at making life choices. Because <laughs> Broful's made a, like, a crap ton of money, and <laughs> we are trying to find ways to spend it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, Kitty and I are making a small game together that's still secret, uh, that's really exciting. Maybe if we throw like a, a goat into the ocean. A goat? Yeah, like a sacrifice. Um, we also have been working on a local multiplayer hockey game called Hockey for a while. Yeah, it's like a minimalist hockey game. Um, you play on different fields, say ice, grass, space. Um, cool, yeah, like all, all the real hockey fields. Well I'd like to fix up some things in my Stugan game. Uh, it's called Kingdom in the Sky and it's like a city builder slash management game. But instead of having some kind of terrain where you build a city, you build the terrain first. Um, I also have another management game called Sky Farm that I want to work a bit on. I would also like to jam with Evan on Orchasm, also just game jams would be cool. Yeah, I'm working on Gorn. It's a VR physics-based gladiator simulator. Um, you play as a gladiator and you fight big, goofy, physics-animated guys with swords and maces. It's really brutal, really violent. Uh, it's my first VR project, so that's a lot of fun. It's one of my first 3D projects, so that's also a lot of fun. And one of the first ones where I'm trying to do a lot of physics animations. Why are we in Mauritius? Uh, it's the only logical next step. Uh, what I am currently working on is a game called Yojimbro. We're making this game that started off as a almost Smash Brothers-esque kind of fighting game in 2D that looked a lot like a better animated Nidhogg um, into something that's now going to be, hopefully, a full 3D physics fighter. We went to um, the rum bar on the beach. Uh, they, they set up like some nice fires and there was a band playing. Then we did uh, like round the table meeting. Um, the table wasn't round, but you know, we <laughs> made do. Yeah, Kitty decided we should go and run into the ocean. Uh, that was really odd. It was the first time we got into the sea actually. So it was like my first time actually engaging with Mauritius was running into the sea at eight o'clock at night in my underwear, and that was fun. I don't know, this whole experience is very disorientating because it feels like you're on holiday, but you're also working harder than ever, so it's kind of weird to figure out the balance or like how to feel about it. But it feels really strange. You wake up in paradise and you're like, oh shit, I've got all this work to do. Yeah. Like you're rushing to get to work and it's like, paradise. Totally. I actually had like a weird anxiety attack in paradise yesterday when I was like suddenly realized I had like all these deadlines. and. Uh. But it was fine. I mean, there'll be space for snorkeling and stuff as well. Yes, yes, we will finally tune the balance somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think the company came to Mauritius? It's not because we're running from anything. We're not running. We're not running from the law in any way, shape or form. At all. No, for, for, no seriously. Can you stop rolling? Could, could you just... Can, can you... Can you Um, after Mauritius, I will go back to my very small apartment in Seapoint and I'll think about how I came here and ate coconuts and entropy and decay and how everything just collapses into nothingness and darkness.